while these are both 8-core CPUs, the Ryzen chips are going to be significantly less expensive. Yeah, I am the same performance, but twice cheaper. And I want you all to know that we are fighting the fake news. It's fake. It's bullshit. Fake news. Because it's the Intel that offers a real budget options. Twice cheaper than the AMD Ryzen. And I have one $200 CPU here in particular. So let's see some options and comparisons. First, that $1000 6900K Intel chip. It costs twice more than the top high-end Intel chip 6800K, simply because it's top of the line model for crazy and extreme PC builds. Their budget is the least of concerns, so to complain about its price is more than stupid. If you put a $400 Ryzen against 6800K for the same 400 bucks, AMD Ryzen keeps up with the Intel only in games where CPU performance difference is negligible. Or AMD does even worse compared to the cheaper Intel CPUs like 7700 and similar situation with the real world programs. The only place AMD Ryzen has an advantage is useless benchmarks and fake demos. Like a fake AMD gaming and streaming demo. Did Intel and Nvidia setups ever had a streaming issue? No. Because Nvidia Shadowplay and Intel's QuickSync has close to zero impact on game performance when streaming video. Yet AMD has nothing similar to offer. So what we did? Of course we compromised competitors by disabling all advantage technologies Intel and Nvidia offers. Same with the video encoding demo. It was done with the open software, but again does not utilize advantages of Intel and Nvidia setups and do not represent the real-world performance in Premiere Pro and similar editing programs. Yet my point is not to repeat findings of many AMD Ryzen recent reviews, but Intel has similar and better performance price offerings to the AMD Ryzen. My point is to show a real cheap CPU for our budget builds today. The secret chip I have here costs only $200. It is so secret. I have not done a video about it for an over a year. And it is called Intel Core i5-6400 with a tiny twist. It is overclocked with a Skylight motherboard bug, or maybe I shouldn't say overclocked, because 4GHz is a stock base frequency of the high-end Core i7-6700K chip, and 6400 does 4GHz with the stock settings without any voltage or RAM changes. So my point, if you are really on a budget and still need a performance CPU, get a Intel Core i5, 6400, Z170 motherboard and change frequencies to i7 range. Enjoy i7 performance for half the price. Sorry, 6900K performance for a fifth of a price. More info about Skylake overclocking in the video description below. I have been using this PC setup for over a year. Mainly I need a performance PC for Premiere Pro video work. Yet I wanted a really compact build, easy to transport and silent too. Plus an OS 6 and Final Cut compatible and all of this under a thousand dollars. If you want to see a more detailed video about my setup and overclocking of 6400 chip, leave a comment below. In short version, I got the second hand parts from Craigslist, 6400 with the Asus uh, Z170 motherboard, modified this EVGA case with Noctua coolers, and the box turned out around $1000 a year ago. Of course the monitor is another one and a half grand, but that's the whole another video. So I'm more than happy with the Premiere Pro and Final Cut performance. I work mostly with the Sony A7S, GoPro and DJI 4K footage on this PC. A 6400 at 4GHz crunches videos without any conversions and proxies. Games aren't my priority anymore, but GTA 5, Hitman, Battlefield 1 and few others at right run as expected on a high-end Intel class CPU. And 64000 is a budget option, because it has only 4 cores. That is all, plus 90% of PC users need today. 6800K has 8 cores not because it's twice faster, but because it is designed for triple SI and similar extreme builds to be able to drive triple monitors and etc. Yet it makes zero sense for an average user, especially on a budget build. 
and AMD Ryzen proves the point even further with the pointless CPUs that does neither fit top of the line extreme builds, neither is a good budget option with a 4500 price range, neither it offers a better performance as it's very hard to scale multi-threaded real world games and programs. And if the task is scalable, GPU has more cores and does it better anyways. That is why Intel offers QuickSync and Nvidia does CUDA. So AMD is left to do the same thing they did with their previous FX marketing. Big wars, a lot of hype, but below an average real world performance. And rigging fake demos, bending facts, says a lot about the company and the product. Any information that turned out to be so false and fake, out. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's a disgrace. Thanks for watching, thumbs up and subscribe if you are interested to see more about 6400, maybe overclocking or installing your OS 6, leave a comment below.